question is, why did you choose to focus on a, particularly, on a particular class of Muslims who seem to be quite privileged? Why did you not interview other kinds of Muslims? And um, the film is called The Muslims I Know. So right off the bat, I want to you know, make it very clear that I am not pretending to represent each and every Muslim. And actually, nobody should be able to make that claim, because it's quite silly to make that claim. Um, the, a quarter of the world population is Muslim. So it's virtually impossible to represent everyone. The reason why I focused on these people is because, um, first of all, I wanted, I wanted to do a micro study. I wanted to keep it very narrow. I didn't want to fall in the trap that I think the media falls into all the time by saying Muslims this and Muslims that. Because nobody can say that. There's just too much diversity. Um, and so because I didn't want to generalize, I decided to do a micro study of a small community of Muslims. So that was the first reason. Second reason is, I think these are the people that you never get to see on TV. These are the people who don't have a voice because these are the normal, moderate Muslim who look and talk like everybody else. And that's the vast majority of Muslims. And that's not just true of this particular socioeconomic class, it's true of all socioeconomic classes. You know, Muslims in general are just regular people like Christians or Jews or Hindus or any other religion or community or ethnicity. So I did want to give these people a platform to have their voices heard. I thought it would be interesting for you to see something different, you know, a different side of the spectrum. So that's the second reason. Um, and I think the third reason was that I did want to keep the film under an hour, and I did want to touch on a lot of subjects. The film talks about a lot of different things. And I wanted you to kind of have this intimate relationship with the people who are being shown in the film. And I could only do that by kind of focus on a small number of people. So these are kind of my reasons for making that decision. It was a deliberate decision that I made uh, when I first brought the documentary treatment. Yeah, I think um, the way I did that in the film is kind of uh, by coming from a very cultural point of view. I focus a lot on the Pakistani culture, and again, I stay with the Pakistani Muslim community most of the time, um, and, you know, except for the scholars that I've interviewed who talk about Islamic history or Islam in general, most of the other regular people in the film are Pakistani American and they live in Rochester. So again, by kind of um, exploring the cultural side of it, you know, I wanted to make it more attractive, more approachable, more accessible. So I did do it that way. But um, I, you know, to tell you the truth, I would love to make a film like this about Moroccan Muslims, or Tunisian Muslims, or Turkish Muslims, or Iranians, you know, because every culture is so rich, so ancient, and so beautiful. Um, it's just that I don't have the funds to do it. So <laughs> if I get a grant, I'll be more than happy to do that. It could be, uh, you know, six part PBS series or something like that. <laughs> great point and um, again you know if I could make a second part to the film I would love to focus on the kinds of things that Muslims do and um, the things that Muslim communities bring to America yeah. you know for example the focus on family um, I think is a great thing that you know Muslim communities kind of bring here so um, and again social work you know we do talk about charity and how that's part of our faith you cannot be a Muslim if you don't do that um, even fasting, you know, the concept behind fasting is that you don't eat from sunup to sundown because you should know what it feels like not to have three meals a day. So Islam is a lot about, I think, social reform more than anything else. That's the way I see Islam, and I think that's why um, it was so radical when it came to Arabia because it completely changed the whole social system, and that's why it was resisted by the people, you know, who were uh, powerful and established in the region. So, um, yeah, that's obviously a very uh, big part of Islam, and um, I wish I had had more time to you know, maybe show more of that, definitely, that engagement. I, I talk a lot about the media, and also in all the interviews that I did related to the film, I constantly keep coming back to the media, because I think it's so important that we realize that the information we get is not by any means complete or even accurate. And um, it's very simplistic. And if you listen to the news, let's say, from Al Jazeera or even from the BBC, you will get a very different 
feel for what's going on in the world. And you will realize that a lot of the things are simply missing in the coverage we get here uh, in the US. So I, I think the media plays a very important role in kind of um, creating these stereotypes, in simplifying things, in generalizing, and in creating this whole culture, culture of us versus them. And um, it's kind of interesting that, that that media coverage kind of works in tandem with government policy. Because, um, you know, and somebody says that in the film, if Muslims, if all you see of Muslims are these barbarians, then it makes sense. It becomes justifiable to go to a Muslim country and occupy it, you know, because we're gonna bring democracy or something like that, you know, whatever the, the, the reasoning might be behind that. Um, and so, so I think it's very important for people not to trust everything they read in the news. Um, even the New York Times is not at all, um, you know, my, is, is not my source of information at all. Um, the internet is great. And I'm actually very happy that young people um, use more and more of the internet to get their information because it's an open platform. And, you know, uh, blogging is great, I think. You know, because it gives a voice to other people. You get a diversity of opinions. You get a diversity of information. And I think that's the way of the future. That's the way to do it. That's the way to go.